All right, we got all the parts to build an electric surfboard. We built it. Happy, happy, happy. It broke. Spent my life savings on new parts. Happy, happy. It broke again. That was the end of part two. This is part three. And in today's video, we are finally going to surf with the $3,000 electric surfboard. But first, here is Simon 2.0 being dropped from a drone. Hey, buddy. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and now back to the electric surfboard. So what changes did I do to make this work? I removed this toolbox and replaced it with a nice 3D printed container instead. The motors are almost attractive. Also, they came with way larger water cooling sleeves. So just maybe they won't catch on fire this time. If you are stupid, I'm desperate enough to build one of these. Look, I lost hair. My brain aged backwards. Don't do it. All right, here's the plan. It's about to get dark. It's about to be pitch black, in fact. And what me and my two brain cells have put together is, you know, just give me a second to connect the wires. Let me show you this. LED lights on the surfboard, they are insanely bright. And I'm hoping to illuminate the water while I'm driving. Here's some more shots of the LEDs. They go way further up and they operate on 24 volts, plugged in straight to the LEDs. And that's the result, baby. All right, let's just put the board in the water and see if the LEDs go bang. I won't get electrocuted, right? Here goes nothing. Wow, that looks lit. Oh, yeah, I said it. It does. You see? Looks good. Looks good. Heading out.
here goes nothing. And now it's time to suit up Case and Axe that style because tomorrow we are going into town to surf in the canal. <laughs> Look at you! You suited in an unmistakably upward direction. In just a minute or two, this guy that literally crashed my drone 10 times. <laughs> He's also gonna try, probably crash the electric surfboard. No. I'll prep. <laughs> I appreciate everyone watching. It just, I would appreciate it more if you watched it another 13 times for the YouTube algorithm. <laughs> I found these batteries on hobbyking.com. Four of those in series would result in a 16 cell battery or about 68 volts, a huge power increase. So I'm really looking forward to warm weather. Obviously fall has arrived in Sweden. I'm not gonna be able to go on ice with this, but... Alright, that's all you gotta see. Thanks for watching, see you again soon, bye.